hello everyone welcome to new adobe after effects tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make and use intro video in after effects using element 3d plugin so before starting this tutorial let's have a look what we'll create today we're going to make in this video to make this video let's open our prefix and then create a new composition i'm going to use 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel and 15 second duration and then hit ok now let's create a new solid and rename it for a3d hit ok now select this and go to effect and control and search for element and apply it then click on this in setup and now let's turn off the grid and then click on this import you need to use this globe model you can download this model from the link in video description so now click this and open it and hit ok by the way if you are still not subscribed my channel then kindly please subscribe my channel so now let's modify it so for length i'm going to use this red color and for globe i'm going to use this or you can use this let's use this and for this grid line let's use a metal color so go to cross headers and let's apply this now select this and click on this auxiliary animation select channel 1 then hit ok now let's create a new camera i'm going to use 24 mm then hit ok now select this layer then go to group 1 then go to aux channels and channel 1 then go to rotation i'm going to rotate this so select this and press alt and click on this stopwatch icon and from here type this expression time time star minus 30 okay now our globe is will animate like this close this now go to around one second and select this camera press ctrl shift and d to cut it here now go to around 5 second and again press sorry select this and then drag this or zoom it something like this then drag this to this point <coughs> and select the camera 2 and again zoom it and then rotate it like this and then drag this to this point now go to around 5 second or more then again press ctrl shift d then select this and make it like this and drag this to the center let's zoom out it okay now let's let's add some flare to make our background select this right click create a new solid rename it flare now select this go to effect and presets and search for optical flare you must have this plugin 
now click on this option go to presets and lights then select this blue spark hit ok and from here select screen drag this to something like this again select this go to effect and presets and search for first blur apply it now turn on this repeat as pixel and then increase blurness something like this and you can increase the size Dusty. you can decrease some opacity now select this press ctrl d go to this point and cut this to here and drag this to this point and from here select this and drag this layer to something like this area and go to this point again press ctrl shift d and select this click on optical flare and drag this to something like this point and increase its size then you can decrease its opacity something like this okay now let's create a shape right click go to new create a shape layer and from here select fill and turn off the stroke from here then change the fill color something like this turn on this proportional grid and draw a shape like this okay now turn off this proportional grid now cut this shape layer to this point and select this press s to open scale unlink this we'll animate this point now go toward this beginning of the shape and then create a keyframe to the scale below and make it zero go to forward 15 frame and make it 100 percent okay now let's create a new text go to layer new and new text and type your text here i'm going to use a font called railway and let's increase its size let's put it to this point let's duplicate this and drag it to something like this point and type your tagline here select this and change this font to something like this okay now let's cut both text to here select both text and right click on your mouse decompose it rename it text holder select move all attribute into the new composition then hit ok now select this press ctrl d to duplicate the shape layer bring this to in front of this and select this text holder and change track mat to alpha mat so this is our text animation now let's add a flare to this point so i'm going to use a flare this drag this to after effects you can download this from the link in the description drag it to here and then let's put it to this point and change this mode to screen Now let's create another new composition and rename it final then hit ok. Now drag this main composition to here 
now select this select this a3d and then copy it go to the final and then paste it to here bring this to below this layer then select this create a new camera hit ok now select the camera and let's zoom this something like this okay okay now let's go to this point let's create a new shape again and draw a shape over this now select this go to effect and presets before that change this color to black then go to effect and presets and search for cc light swap and change this to screen linear and change direction to 30 drag this to this point create a keyframe what like this to the center then go to around something like this and drag this to this point so now let's see the preview let's do some change for background so select this element 3d go to effect control and click on scene setup and then turn off this line and turn off this yes now it's looking good to me now let's add a sound to this project so i'm going to use this sound you can download this from youtube creator studio and drag this to after effects and then drag this to the timeline so now it's ready to render so now let's render it go to composition add to render queue then select close less and select i'm going to use after code then turn on music hit ok select a folder where you want to export it save now click on this render button so this is how you can make a breaking news into video in adobe after effects and using element 3d plugin so hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching